What's up everybody, I'm the Mangoose, you are awesome, and it's time for another Call to Arms, where I throw out some possible solutions to the problems that Paragon had. I'm not a game developer and some of my ideas are a little out there, so if you think you have something better, or if a hero I cover needs to be left alone, let it fly in the comments. You're not going to hurt my feelings, and many times you guys end up having better ideas than me. Today we're going to talk about one of my personal favorites, the Fey. I can't really put the problem with the Fey into words. Luckily, Epic did it for me. Right there. Support. They tagged Faye as a support without giving her an ability kit to match the tag. Now before you support Faye mains go running for the comments, just hear me out. I think I make a fair point and in the end, I'm on your side. You see, to be labeled as a support in Paragon, you needed at least two of your basic abilities to provide status effects to either your opponent or your allies, and usually a support-oriented ultimate. Decker had a stun on one ability and a slow on another. She also had an AoE speed boost attached to rocket boots for most of her life cycle. Narbash had a stun, an AoE speed boost, and a regen aura. Now what did the Fey have? Bramble Patch. One slow. If you tag the Fey as a support because she has a status effect on one basic ability, then you may as well count Feng Mao as a support. I'm going to propose a few changes that I think could be made to the Fey's organic ability set that would make her a better support without sacrificing her power as a mage. Before we get into it, I want to talk about why support heroes in Paragon had so many status affecting abilities. Epic stated early on that they didn't want direct healing in the game. In order to compensate, they gave supports multiple ways to affect the battlefield. The reasoning behind this was because they said it feels bad when you put work into damaging an enemy, only to have all of that effort negated. That's right, the same people that said all of that made FaZe, a hero that literally snatches people away from death and then heals them with the same ability. An ability that is a lock-on and works even if the tethered ally is stunned. Ugh. Just like Wukong, I'll save that for another day. Let's get back to the Fey. Let's kick things off with her one support ability, Bramble Patch. I propose you add a root to the first tick of damage done by Brambles and then a slow for each additional tick. I mean, they're roots. She makes roots come out of the ground and they don't root people. Somebody's gonna be like, uh, well, you know, Mangoose, the, those are brambles native to Southeast Bumfuck Nowhere, and while they do have the appearance of roots, they actually aren't, and I, I don't care. They look like roots, they should root. I don't know how to balance that, maybe make it a micro root, like 0.5 seconds, or perhaps slightly increase the mana cost. I don't know, I just know that roots coming out of the ground should root. Now, according to the Paragon recipe, she needs to have another basic ability that provides a status effect. I thought about attaching something to Harvest Nettles. Maybe like a speed boost if it hits an ally, but with the cooldown on Nettles being so low, that would probably be overpowered. You could extend the cooldown on Nettles, but that would detract from Faye's Mage Kit. She kinda needed that poke to play mid or offlane. I'm gonna leave Harvest Nettles how it is in my little fantasy world here. That leaves us with Untamed Growth. I toyed with a few ideas to make Untamed Growth a supportive ability, and I think I landed on one. The flower is spinning wildly, so allow allies to use that centripetal force to their advantage. Make it so that if the Fey or any allies that jump while inside the radius of Untamed Growth are launched a short distance in the direction of travel. Nothing too far, maybe just a little further than a Twin Blast Rocket Dash. That would give her a way to save allies, speed up their chase to secure kills, and would give Mage Fey a much needed escape. That may be too much, the Fey was okay as she was and this might send her over the edge into overpowered, but I'm fine with that, I love the Fae. A little off the support topic here, but one thing I always wish they would change about Untamed Growth is giving her the ability to pop it early. Maybe make it deal more damage the more you let it spin up so that it would deal less damage if you pop it early, but I always thought it would be nice to be able to choose when the burst of damage was applied. Again, probably overpowered, but whatever. Finally, we have her ultimate, Flytrap. There isn't much I would change here. I think this is the main reason she was labeled as a support to begin with. Her ultimate was great for either saving allies or setting up massive combos. My only problem with Flytrap is that it seemed like it would straight rip you through a wall if an enemy fey used it on you, but whenever I cast it, the effect would be blocked if an enemy's big toe got stuck on a pebble. That's almost certainly biased perception though. The fey was my second favorite hero in Paragon, and I hope she gets added into one of these games soon, but I do hope they avoid the identity crisis associated with her in Paragon. I know you could play her as a support, but you could also play any number of other heroes as a support. I would like to see her placed a little more firmly into the supporting role, while retaining her ability to be a monster caster. 
I know that sounds overpowered, but hell, Belica had dual status effects and could be played as a support or a caster. Gideon had not only two status effects on his basic abilities, but also had massive crowd control on his ultimate. So if heroes like that can exist in the game, why not make the Fae be more like them? If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you disagree with me, hit that dislike and let me know why. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe now because you are not going to be able to search for my channel. You'll just get like a hundred videos showing a mongoose killing a snake. I'm out of here. Mangoo!